lot of interesting things to talk about today. Adam Warlock uh, confirmed. Would you say he's confirmed, Rim? He's confirmed. Uh, yeah, I mean, all, all but confirmed. I mean, they zoom in on it at the end of yeah. the Misty Night. We'll show video. why he's confirmed, plus the developer's comment confirmed. Probably going to be legendary status. We're talking about the teams required, perhaps, to unlock him. Misty Knight. Nobody tests the game. She's not working correctly. Yeah, well, they tested her on war defense only. Yeah, they didn't test her. They didn't test her. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about uh, potential counters. Some You've had some experience. And also, uh, we're going to talk about like placement, like, uh, like who the best fifth should be. First things first, on the Misty Knight video uh, that they just released like a couple hours ago, Towards the end of the video, it shows the Heroes for Hire team, and then you are you watching this, Ram? Can you see my stream? Or you you see what's going on? Yeah, so I can I can see your stream. Yep. All right, so there they are. They're zooming in. Not subtle. That is one thousand. Not, not subtle. <laughs> one thousand uh, percent. That is at you know the the the, in the end of Guardians of Galaxy tool two. They're talking about Adam Warlock, and they're showing his cocoon right there. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, one of the things we talked about a little bit, he was kind of a neutral character in the comics, but they probably going to give him a hero tag. What do you think? So, uh, I think he was heroes for the story that features most prominently for it for as the infinity watch, he definitely countered uh, some of the most, uh, important galactic events, right? So I feel like there are some very, very specific, um, so let, let's talk about Infinity Watch. Okay, he's so just to be he's a hero. just to be clear, you you pinged them on Twitter saying, "Is this going to be Adam Warlock?" And the response from Community Manager Zeke's, which is Momo, is wink, wink, and then the official Marvel Strike Force Twitter also wink, wink. So they're not being. This is basically confirmation that Adam Warlock is coming to the game, and he's strong, right? He's like yeah, Silver he's Surfer. Here. He's he, he's a god in the in in the comics, right? Exactly. We're talking, yeah, yeah basically. He kind of has like a Jesus Christ kind of feel a little bit to him a little bit, but he's like beyond Silver Surfer, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and and you said neutral. He's probably going to be a hero, but even in the Guardian of the Galaxy thing, they said, "Oh, we're, I'm creating him to," and they're going to he's going to destroy the Guardians of the Galaxy. Let, let's 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 be very clear. He was he was created as a weapon, um, and he was designed to. Uh, be in control and his his creators lost control of him so he's a very interesting character in that regard okay. um so his his stories were kind of like uh there was an alternative earth that basically was kind of like uh this so his, his origin stories are probably some of the least least interesting uh but once he started for me the reason why this is so important is because of the the infinity crisis was when i really got into comics Okay. So that was like, you know, that was in our heyday in the 90s, buddy. Okay, so let's let's talk about this. I think there's a, a couple uh plausible solutions. Both uh I saw the the titles of a Valley Flying and Tana videos both saying that he, their yeah, their one, sources are saying that, that he's going to be legendary. That seems plausible, correct? Yeah. It seems highly likely. I don't I don't I don't I don't think that's uh I don't think that's a stretch. So um, I, I we have a couple different theories. Uh, a lot of people say X Factor. Some people say uh, Heroes for Hire unlock. What about a, a and you were going into it and that kind of made me cringe a little bit, but I, but also think it's plausible also. But a seven star unlock with astonishing X Men. Well, we I, I mean I don't I don't ow! know. So, ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I I mean so. So the idea is if he is that powerful, they, they can gate him uh, behind another legendary. And it's been a year, almost, you know, it was March that they had Maw and they right. started to make the Maw announcement. So now we're in May, it, it almost wouldn't surprise me. So either, I think they're, I think they'll lock another legendary behind a legendary. But yeah, I well, they, they, cause they've done it before. Black Bolt was required to get Ebony Maw and then Phoenix was his six star unlock. So. I know it seems to me that that he wouldn't merit like a traditional five star unlock, no legendary requirement. So I, it's definitely plausible to think that this could be a higher than five star unlock, or it could require a legendary, or it could be both. Right? It's it's not outside the question or the realm of Scopal next, right? 
Yeah, whatever it is, I'm I'm like I'm 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 making sure I'm 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 going to be going really hard on Friday cuz I feel like they're going to be a big announcement on Friday. There, there's definitely this is definitely like hype mode. We're in we're in hype mode level 1. I think they'll and I think they might even reveal his unlock method. Okay, yeah. And so the other thing too is that this is so this is probably you're right, probably Friday because they're they're putting the teaser out today. So and uh we've been predicting uh or at least I've been predicting so Ebony Ma was yesterday, and I've been predicting Jubilee's return two weeks from yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's that's plot. I mean, these we don't have any information. We're just making stuff up. Okay. Yeah. Well, you and I actually specifically don't ask for information because you know. Yeah, people we're, don't we're... understand that because we can't speculate when we don't ask for information. So they don't tell us information until like twenty four hours in advance. It actually kind of works out to our favor because then we can uh, get information from other sources rather than then telling us and then we can't say anything uh which is kind of nice right because that's happened in the right. past too misty night two two issues on misty night uh first things first it appears that um nobody tested her at all on, yeah. on outside of war at all like she's i think she's literally colleen and misty are there, are there gonna be any use for them outside of war i mean it doesn't look like it right now on deep so colleen Colleen's interesting. I brought her to G15. I'm definitely going to take her into the, the skill raid tonight on tonight's stream. I feel, I feel um, that's kind of been solved with Kestrel. Like, I, I mean, I hear what you're saying, but it kind of feels like it's been solved. Yeah, I, you know, I don't and I really don't think that that and, and the potential is if, if this whole, um, you know, uh, Infinity Watch comes out, if there's probably another skill character, Cough Cough Moon Dragon, uh, that's probably coming to the game that'll have significant value well over what Colleen can bring outside of war. War defense but, teams don't feel But good. what we're talking about is that they did not test this at all. At all! They turned, they released this to the population untested. <sighs> and the, the build and it, it, it worked on war. Yeah, and, they have, and, they and I, 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 my, my, this is, people have gone to the, the actual code, the JSON files, and it's not coded for this ability block to work outside of war. It's coded to work inside war, but not outside of war. All right. So wow, I, I right? I, I, I want to tell you something really, really important. In the promo video, Cerebro says, when he's talking about her ultimate ability, that it applies ability block and disrupted. And then in war, it has the additional thing where it does, where it targets the highest health character. So I believe that they intended for this to work outside of war. All right. Literally, so that, I, I mean, it, it, this is embarrassing for them, right? I mean, I, yeah. I can't understand this at all, especially, I, I haven't read the article entirely, but they've got this big boastful article about how, oh, how we did the acquisition the right way. And the whole articles, the crux of the article is how Scopely just left them alone to do their own thing. And they didn't, they didn't step in at all. I'm like, do Scopely, please step in is, is what I'm starting to say. Please step yeah. in. My goodness. I mean, they're, they're talking about how they, you know, how that they, they're basically been hands off and just let them do whatever they want to do. And I'm like, please step in at this point. I feel like they're probably going to be hiring. They're probably going to release some of the purse strings back into the company to reinvest in it and reinvest. I think that's probably now that the now that the the uh, COVID is 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 ushering in the end uh, uh, of of the isolation and people are going to get back to work as normal. I feel like they have to make some major changes. And I think that there is absolute justification. And with the MCU back in full blast. This is a make or break moment. Marger, Marvel Future Revolution is coming out. Yeah, there are there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of factors here. If they don't make this game great, it it, it will be left. It'll it'll be a a failure story in the next article they write about this game. Okay, and then lastly, uh, so uh, you were able to play against Misty Knight and the Heroes for Hire on defense. Looks like the team is beatable but tricky I, I literally someone sent me screenshots of nine defensive wins of doom with heroes to hire in a double boosted room so it, it's working right uh but i know you have a video link to that video will be at where you were able to go up against a ms marvel in the, yeah. the fifth so i guess we're gonna what's to, bro, i'm gonna send everybody your video but who is who should i i'm gonna do doom uh, should, is the fifth you know I, just because i don't know what to do i'm just gonna do doom 
What do you yeah. what, what do you think people should be doing with their their fifth for placing them on defense? Doom. I like JJ because you still have the flexibility of Doom for either offense or defense. Um, I I've got quite a few wins with JJ. That so Doom. If you use the team that I'm using, let's make the assumption that people are going to use Kestrel. They're going to use Silver Surfer and the Inhuman team because it works. It makes sense. It you know a lot of times you Black Bolt will be absorbing all that damage. I think it just makes the most sense for an offensive team because you don't have to rely on the fifth a, a, as much. It is probably the team that's going to work the most. Okay. Right. And so um, the idea here is is um, there is going to be a so, that's, that's the, so this is the team that you used, but this was a pretty yeah. big punch down, like a hundred and something. Double, double, double buffed, it, double buffed, and you can see we. I talk about some of the things here yeah. that, that we definitely link to this but video. Will be in the description. It's a great video, by the way. You have to watch it. Yeah. Kestrel counters doom. Okay. Okay, Kestrel does counter Doom. So yeah, this is yeah. So uh, I, I I mean I'm kind of torn between splitting up, you know, putting Doom on its own team and they have to deal with that, or putting Doom over here and then just having one really good team. But I, I have a feeling that the trick we're gonna we're gonna figure out a solution on how to beat this team pretty consistently. And the question is that there's three over the top amazing characters in the game right now silver surfer kestrel and doom and the question is how many of them do you have to use to beat this team is that what it's going to come down to is that i mean that's what it's going to come down to right how many of them do you have to use to beat this team i'll be i was legitimately afraid of timing out like uh, i literally so i was legitimately afraid of timing out there was very and, and if you watch the video i'll talk about the the real strengths of the team what i thought was missing from defense and and why i use certain abilities and certain orders on offense the idea here is you know um black order does not work because they take away the power of black order it is specifically designed to make sure black order doesn't work against them yeah so uh, i like what you did in this team here using silver surfer to uh, take strip the charge away from Misty and then just focus down Misty. And, and, and actually, that's a W if you do that anyways, right? Yeah. I mean, because then you're going to get a two-tap if you can actually do that. Uh, you know, so that's – it's and, and I think that's probably – the team right here is exactly what I'm going to do. I was using Kestrel with uh, X-Factor, but I'm actually going to put Zemo on X-Factor, and then I'm going to put uh, Hydra 2.0 on defense just to kind of mess with things. And we'll see what happens, right? Right. right. All right. It's, it's definitely going to be interesting. Yeah. All right. Check out uh, uh, Reminix video and stay tuned. Probab I mean, uh, I think there's a high probability that there's going to be an announcement on Friday of uh, Adam Warlock coming to the game. My guess is that they won't give us information on unlock requirements until the last minute. They're kind of stingy on that kind of information. They, they want to be. Uh, you guys understand that they want to be unpredictable and they want to be a hassle. It's not, they're not going to do any, us any favors, I don't think, on Friday. Not at all. All right. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Anything you want to say before we go? No, that's it. Just, uh, just I, I think it's going to be interesting to see what the fifth winds up being on Heroes for Hire. And I, I don't know that it's going to be Doom. I, I feel like JJ has a lot more potential because of the fact that she can start clearing some of the debuffs that the team is applying. Okay. Um, and, and so uh, it really it really scares me. Wow, I was I was not interested in Jessica Jones, but uh, just because I don't want to upgrade her, I was gonna rather I rather put Ghost or something there. I don't know. Ghost is another another, good, another I mean, there's so many. The, the idea that there's a four piece and a fifth piece is in flux is kind of a cool place to be, mm -hmm. and it allows theory crafting. And I think the community really kind of decide, you know, what's working the best. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.